Hey guys, so today we're gonna to be walking you through a high volume shoulders and arms workout. I've titled this workout, Make Lightweights Feel Heavy, just because at the moment, a lot of you I know don't have much access to some heavy weights. So we're gonna make the most of up to 20 kilos we're gonna be using today, or about 45 pounds. So we're gonna be using some methods like some pre-fatigue methods and just using some really smart training strategies to make those lightweights feel heavy. We've got Ryan with us today as well over here. In case you don't know, Ryan is my younger brother. Um, he's about five weeks out of a classic bodybuilding competition, so his calories aren't very high at the moment. He's feeling pretty weak. Uh, so hopefully I can keep up with him. Um, but anyway, we've just finished our warm up, but we're gonna dive straight in. And as I said, I'm gonna walk you through that workout as we go along. Okay, so exercise one, we're gonna start out with some lateral raises or a lateral raise variation. The reason why we're starting this, almost like we're starting a workout in reverse, is so we can really pre-fatigue our shoulders before we go into some slightly heavier pressing work. So I'll just walk you through these lateral raises right now. So what we're gonna do, slight take on a traditional lateral raise, we're gonna have a slight bit of flexion on our hips so we're leaning a little bit more forwards and we're gonna use what's called the scapular plane. Now the scapular plane, if I show you from sideways, is about a 30 degree forward raise. So rather than raising up here, we're raising about 30 degrees forwards, okay? I'm just gonna hit a set of 20. And I'm just focusing really on arcing my shoulders out as wide as I can. So I'm not kind of in here, I'm a nice arc as wide as I can. So even with some light weights, this is a real challenge. So I'm just gonna start with 20. Pitcher raise, so it's a little bit more of a pinkies up position at the end, and that's just because he tends to feel that a little bit more in his delts versus me. I'm just going a little bit flatter with that raise. Nice. And also slightly different foot start. Set two. So just going to see if we can hit about 15 this time. So again, slightly ramping up that weight as we go along. See really, this stuff isn't to pre-fatigue, it's just to get a good shoulders pump. <laughs> nice. These, we're just gonna do some straight sets. So I try and hit another 15. And guys, if you find it easier, happy for you to go parallel like that. I just find that slight staggered stance is easy for me. Yeah, probably a little bit too heavy, but you gotta do it sometimes.
Exercise number two. So we've already pre-fatigued our shoulders. We're gonna go straight into our heavy pressing uh, variation. So this is like our main lift, if you will. So most of you might be doing this first. We're gonna be doing it second, because as I said, the goal here is to make light weights feel heavy. So we're not gonna be able to overhead press in a second as much as we might be able to regularly without doing that pre-fatigue beforehand. So our, our second exercise here, sorry, is going straight into a constant tension Arnold press, okay? And I'll walk you through that. So I've just set to a moderately inclined bench here. And as I said, you can just adjust this into whatever feels most comfortable for you. And I'll chat about angles in a second. I'm just gonna start with some little 50s. So your regular Arnold press. You start out in front here, making sure your elbows are away from your ribs, so you've got a little bit of tension there. And your regular Arnold press, you're gonna press straight overhead, elbows coming out, and you're gonna bring those elbows back in. With this constant tension variation, we're gonna keep one down here, and as I said, elbow isn't tucked into your ribs, it's out, so we've got that tension. One's static while the other one's working. So you're just gonna knock out 10 reps on each side to start off. Even those 15s are feeling heavy. Uh, so Ryan's elbows, they're away from his ribs, he's got the constant tension in his shoulders. So guys, you can do another variation of this actually, which Ryan almost started off in, where you can hold in that top position, but that's just a little bit easier than this variation. We're going for the harder variation, as I said, goal is to make light weights feel heavy. And holding it down there with a little bit of constant tension in your shoulders makes it all that bit heavier. Set three here, just stick with the same weight.
Okay, so we've just done three sets, 10 each arm or 20 alternating, however you want to see it. We're going to do a full set here uh, because you have to. I'm just going to go heavy, going to go all out. Um, and these are the 20s, these are the max we're allowed to use in this workout. Because those are the rules. Let's see if we can keep that tension, keep that form high. 20 might not happen there. Come on, 13, 14, come on, 16, come on, come on, that's one, okay, four sets, done and dusted, uh, we're going to move on next to a slightly different variation, we're going to use a kettlebell for this, uh, you can also do this using a dumbbell. So I'm just going to go and grab a kettlebell. Okay, so exercise number three. This is a bit of a mechanical drop set, basically. So we're going to use a kettlebell to do a kettlebell front raise, and then we're going to take that front raise into something that's just a little bit easier, which for us is going to be an overhead press. So it basically means we can extend that set. As I said, it's a bit like a mechanical drop set where instead of changing the weight or, or lightening the weight so we can continue our set, we change the mechanics of the exercise just to make it that tad bit easier. So we're gonna start with a front raise there. I'll just give you a few reps of demo before I do my main set. And then we're gonna go straight into an overhead press with that same kettlebell. Okay, so I'm gonna aim for 10 reps of each for my first set. And again, remember, goal here is to hit shoulders. We don't want any other kind of movement, any other muscles compensating for that action. I want to feel that all in my dance. So nice strict overhead press. Pop your shoulders all the way through if you have that overhead mobility. jump in weight. If form deteriorates then we'll go back down again but we'll give it a try. Thank you. 
one thing guys as well, when you use the kettlebell, you've got to watch your own bells on this one as well. Don't drop it too low. <laughs> Just notice as well, Ryan's got a really good core engagement here, he's not kind of overextending his back. So he's not got this kind of overextension safety back going on either. Okay, so we're going to exercise number four now, and this is our last shoulders exercise. So we're trying to now get a little bit more kind of medial and posterior delts involved. So instead of doing your standard on that bent over lateral raises or your chest supported lateral raises, we're going to mix it up a little bit today and we're going to do some eccentric Y raises. So I'll just take you through a few reps before I actually do my working set. So I'm going to use a couple of plates with this just because we don't have some really light dumbbells here because you won't need a lot of weight with this. And what you're going to do is start at just a little bit of an angle so your thumbs are almost pointing towards each other. As you pull your thumbs towards your ears, it's almost like a baseball, you'll press out into a Y and then control that descent, control that eccentric. So it's thumbs to ears, press and then control. So we're basically overloading our shoulders eccentrically through that Y raise. And we're going to see if we can pop out sets of about 12 of these. See how we go along. So we're basically overloading the eccentric because that Y is a lot harder than that baseball component. So we're overloading the eccentric with weight. You can also do these really slow, you can do like four seconds, six seconds on the way down. And the reason why we're using some eccentrics here are A, really good for shoulder health, and B, eccentrics are great to build some considerable muscle on your shoulders. Right, show perfect technique. One thing I didn't mention, we've just got a very, very slight inclined bench, probably on a sort of a 30 degree angle, but you can adjust the angle depending on what feels best for you, whatever angle you want to be at. Okay, set number two. workout in the end, as much kind of density as we can. We're obviously just trying to be as efficient as we possibly can within that time frame. Set 
three. I want to think it should be three or four. Three or four sets. I will go for it for you. Yeah, these are pretty challenging. I'll do a quick burnout go set. On, done. Yeah, go on. We've got at least 15 in the tank. Almost like a back off set. Just did a quick drop set. <laughs> Ross did one, I had to do one, took it one further, arms only. <laughs> Four exercises down, we've got two to go. So we've done our shoulders exercises. We're gonna transition into a couple of arms exercises. So we're gonna do a triceps exercise and a biceps exercise. But to be able to get a lot of volume in a really short period of time, we're gonna be using some mechanical drop sets for these. So I'll show you straight into this first triceps exercise. I said I'll walk you through it and then I will do my set. So we're gonna start out with a tricep extension. So this is your standard tricep extension, keeping your elbows pointing up to the roof and just kicking those elbows up. So we're just trying to maintain tension in the top position, trying not to lose it by bringing those elbows too far down. So I'm just gonna pop out about 10 reps to start off with. So this should be a pretty easy set. And then from there, what we're gonna do is an eccentric tricep extension. So the eccentric is the extension there. I'm bringing my elbows in and then bringing the concentric into a press. So eccentric back, elbows down, punch. So this is just a slightly easier movement than the tricep extension we did beforehand, meaning we can continue our set. I'm going to aim for about, maybe about eight on this one. And then I'm going to go straight into just a neutral grip dumbbell press, just to really take those triceps to a little bit closer to some failure. Really as many as you can. You can also do a squeeze press. Squeeze press is there if you want to do a squeeze press instead. These dumbbells are pretty slidey though. So I'm just going to keep that neutral. So just start out with some tricep extensions, as I said before, rises and a little bit of twist into it. As I said, for him, that's just a little bit more comfortable. He prefers to do them that way. Just making sure we've got good elbow alignment, so elbows are pointing directly up to the roof. So we've got no kind of stress on that medial elbow as we do that. We don't crank the elbows. So we eccentric control, drop those elbows down and punch. Nice. And then when those triceps can't handle much more of those, just straight into a neutral grip dumbbell press. Again, Ryan's just got a slightly different angle on those dumbbells than me. Okay, 
Yeah, two. Proper set this time, without talking. Come on. Two. Three. Come on, let's go. Five. Sixth exercise, final exercise. Again, we're gonna go into a mechanical drop set. So we're doing this for maximal time efficiency. And as I said, it's about making light weights feel super heavy. And we haven't finished off our shoulders and arms workout without finishing off with a little bit of biceps. So we're gonna just start. Fully inclined bench. And we're gonna begin with just a basic seated hammer curl. So we're gonna be picking a weight that we can roughly get about maybe 10 reps to start off with, keeping the reps really simple today. And we're just, just start with 10 basic hammer grip bicep curls. And I'll walk you through as we go along what we're gonna do. Three, ten. Once you've hit 10, you're gonna alternate sides. So we'll change the mechanics a little bit, making it just a slightly easier exercise to keep on going. Gonna do this a few reps short of failure. And then we're gonna keep going in a standing position. So you can either do these here or you can kind of come across your body if you prefer that variation. Little tip the bicep curls, try and flex your tricep at the bottom, overload that bicep a little bit more in that stretch position. So just a cheeky little tricep flex at the bottom of each bicep curl. Okay, 
Now you're up. We're doing one set. So, yeah. <laughs> so we're gonna go seated, 10 reps, seated alternating, standing alternating. Go Just on. max, max after the 10. Max, max, yeah. So what? So really important hammer curls, making sure those elbows stay back. So especially with these thick grip dumbbells, really hitting that forearm as well. Okay, set number two, we'll do three sets of these to finish off. Last set. Last set. <laughs> okay, come on. Thanks for tuning in guys, that's the end of our workout, we're done and dusted, probably off to get a burger with the Dirty Burger oh, connoisseur yeah. now. <laughs> anyway guys, if you have any follow up questions feel free to drop them below in the comments and remember to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel at The Fitness Maverick.